In the summer of 1940, Europe was burning. Adolf Hitler's war machine had smashed through the continent, leaving one nation standing, Britain. The fate of the world now rested on the shoulders of a tiny island, isolated and bracing for invasion. This was the Battle of Britain, a battle that would decide the future of freedom itself. Welcome to Infinite Altitudes, the channel that brings you everything about aviation. Hitler was confident. His Luftwaffe, the most powerful air force in the world, was ready to bring Britain to its knees. But what happened next would go down in history as one of the greatest stories of heroism and sacrifice. Britain was on the brink of collapse. Europe had fallen. The world held its breath as Hitler's armies stood poised to invade. The RAF was all that stood between the United Kingdom and utter destruction. But there was a huge problem. The RAF was heavily outnumbered. They had only 640 fighters to take on over 2,600 German aircraft. The odds seemed impossible. The Germans began their assault, launching wave after wave of bombers and fighters. This wasn't just about planes in the sky. This was about the survival of a nation. Britain was at its breaking point. Despite the odds, the RAF took to the skies. Douglas Bader, a man who lost both legs in an accident, became one of the RAF's most formidable pilots. In his hurricane, he tore through Luftwaffe formations, leading his squadron in daring attacks. The skies above Britain were alive with fury almost every day, chaotic dogfights that tested the very limits of human endurance. And Let us know you are here with us by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more incredible stories from the sky. Let's continue with our story. Then there was Flight Lieutenant James Nicholson. His plane, a hurricane, was shot and set on fire by a Messerschmitt. But did he bail out? No, he did not. With flames licking his face, he locked onto an enemy bomber and brought it down before finally jumping out of his burning aircraft. This act of courage earned him the Victoria Cross, the only fighter pilot to receive it during the Battle of Britain. But it wasn't just courage that won the day. It was technology. The RAF had a secret weapon that the Germans didn't expect. Radar. With it, they could see the Luftwaffe coming long before they reached British shores. British controllers guided their limited number of fighters with pinpoint precision, intercepting the bombers where they were most vulnerable. This gave the RAF a fighting chance, and they made the most of it. For every German bomber that fell, the tide turned just a little more in Britain's favor. But it was still far from over. On August 13, 1940, Hitler launched what was supposed to be the knockout blow, Adler Tag, or Eagle Day. The Luftwaffe threw everything they had at Britain. It was all or nothing. But the RAF wasn't done. Against overwhelming numbers, they fought back fiercely. The Luftwaffe lost over 70 aircraft that day alone. It was a devastating blow. The Germans had underestimated the resilience of the British pilots. If you are still watching, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more incredible stories from the sky. But victory came at a terrible cost. Over 500 RAF pilots lost their lives in the Battle of Britain. These men, some barely out of their teens, gave everything to protect their country. People like pilot officer Eric Locke, who shot down 16 enemy planes before he too was lost. They fought not just for Britain, but for the freedom of the world. Their sacrifice ensured that the light of liberty would not be extinguished. By October 1940, Hitler's dream of invading Britain had crumbled. The RAF, outnumbered and outgunned, had triumphed. Against all odds, these brave pilots had defended the skies and saved their nation. This was more than just a victory for Britain. It was a victory for freedom. The Battle of Britain wasn't just a battle of planes and pilots. It was a battle of wills. It was a stand against tyranny and a fight for the future of humanity. These pilots, these heroes, showed the world what it meant to never give up. Their legacy lives on, 
reminding us that when the world is at its darkest, courage can light the way.